Hey guys, it's Job, and it's been a while since I've done a news video on sports or anything like that. So I thought, you know what, let's do one today. Oh, I did do an NFL QB rankings. But let's talk about Jalen Hurts today, um, his stats, and where I think the future is for him with either the Eagles, or we'll see what happens next year, because they're talking about maybe getting Russell Wilson or trading our picks away, or drafting a quarterback, which I do not want to do. I'd rather have Jalen Hurts, because the quarterbacks in this draft aren't looking too good. So, um, yeah, let's just get into it. So first, let's look at his stats. Um, I have another tab I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, he has 2,250 total yards and five or fewer giveaways. Ranked six among QBs in red zone rating 112.5. So that's pretty good. I mean, like, he likes to run the ball a lot. Like, like himself, like, on the RPOs and stuff. Um, he could have had more touchdowns. We'll check that out right now. But uh, more touchdowns, but um, we've been running the ball uh, for the past couple weeks against the Lions. We had four rushing touchdowns. So, yeah, kind of just, like, just mix up and stuff. But um, I feel like, um, no, let's just go look at his stats real quick. So, I pulled this up on um, ESPN. Let's go check his out. And um, here we go. He has 1,981 total yards, ranked 21st passing, passing. So he is a runner too. And we've been running the ball more, so I guess his attempts have been down more, actually. On the internals. Uh, I can't wait. Um, probably going to see that if he comes out on Disney+. Plus. Um, 11 t t touchdown passes. So um, I know he has quite a bit of touchdown pa uh, not, uh, touchdowns in the red zone when he's rushing, when he's running. So, um, yeah, that's that's his passing, so, alright, that's not that good. Um, then we have four interceptions tied with seventh, he only has four interceptions, and a QB rating of 40, uh, uh, 49.4, Ryan 20th. So, we got the Broncos coming up, and here's, uh, some more stats of him right here. Um, regular season, passing, uh, there you go. Can't, I couldn't find um, any of the other uh, stats, but uh, yeah, let's just get back to it. So, um, I do think that we still should give him more time, especially with these coaches. And we do have weapons. He's got to get better with the accuracy. Um, we got, we've got we got um, weapons, like some weapons. I'm not going to say they're the best, but we got Devontae Smith, who was great, the Slim Reaper. And we got Quez Watkins, who he hasn't... I don't think he has a touchdown this year, which is pretty crazy. Um, he's... I think he should be good. I, we haven't targeted him much. And Dallas Goddard, our tight end. I, I know Jalen Hurts likes to go to him quite a bit. Uh, Jalen Hurts has got to get, has to get the accuracy down. Um, especially for, like, deep throws and stuff like that. Because, um, he can miss people sometimes. And, um, if he gets that, I think his ceiling's really high for that. So... That's what I have here. And then we've been running the ball. So, right, here's my standards. But we currently have King Gainwell, Boston Scott, and Jordan Howard currently um, playing right now. Thank you, Eagles, for actually signing this guy. Um, hate to see him on the practice squad. He can, he, he's can he been good these two games he's played. Um, King Gainwell, a fifth-round rookie, or, yeah, fifth-round rookie, has been doing well. I like what I've seen for him. Kind of Boston Scott up there. We'll need him for the Giants. We got Miles Sanders. So, honestly, these running backs aren't that bad, let's be honest. I mean, like, Boston just gets hurt quite a bit. And, uh, that's why he's out now. But we've been running the ball. And, um, unless the Eagles say Miles Sanders, um, they need to keep doing it. Um, even when he comes back. So, uh, Jalen Hurts also has these guys. And I also don't, what I don't like is, um, they always make Jalen Hurts, or, like, the play calling is not good. So, that's kind of affecting maybe Jalen Hurts, too. A lot of RPO options we do all the time. So, yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. I want him to be the starting quarterback. We'll have to see where this rest of the season goes. We're already in week 10 coming up. So, already halfway done the season, regular season. I do not think the Eagles are making the playoffs at this point. We're 3 and 6. But I do believe we'll go 9 and 8. I think we'll lose to the Broncos and then lose to the Cowboys. And then we'll beat the Jets. I think we'll beat Washington two times. And I think we'll beat the Giants two times. I just see it happening. So, we'll have to see. Um, we got Broncos coming up this week, but it really just falls on this these two idiots on their decisions and what they want to do for the future with Jalen Hurts and just this team in general. So we'll have to see what they decide. Um, hopefully they don't they don't do anything stupid. But I want Jalen Hurts to succeed not just for 
just not just because I'm an Eagles fan and for for them to win. But I also wanted him to do good for himself. So uh, we'll have to see. But this is my thoughts on Jalen Hurts. I'm hoping he does good. And uh, let's just see what happens. We got a uh, quite a good defense coming up. We'll see how well he can play against them. We got the Broncos. We're heading into Denver. I want to win this game, but I don't know. The Broncos are able to shut down the Cowboys, and we'll see what happens. All right, see you guys in the next video. Bye.